Hey guys, Silence here. Welcome back to another episode of Uta Macros Gacha Videos with me. Well, this time around, we have quite a bit of stuff to talk about because there were certain things I did not notice before. And of course, there are certain things that I've been missing out uh, for the last, I don't know, one week or so. So let's dive into the gacha page and let's break down every single thing bit by bit, one at a time. So let's move on to the oldest thing first, which is the uh, Crossover Live Key Arts 2 uh, gachas, which come with a paid and a free. Now, we're going to talk about the episode plates within the gachas itself because um, I try to make videos based off every time they rotate focusing on a specific diva which will give you the higher chance to obtain that diva's version of the episode plate um, but you know in hand the gacha actually is capable of letting you obtain any of the five divas featured um, this time round for the month of november my guess is in december it is still going to be the crossover live event because uh, they are just that many events within a month and they won't be able to release all of the 10 divas within a month itself so they're gonna have to split it between November and December and of course uh, after sucking your money for two whole months you're diving into the brand new year and then there's the New Year's Nyan Kuji oh my god we are gonna be so broke <laughs> so that aside Alright, let's just break down the 5 episode plates that belong to this uh, rotational key arts 2 gacha. Uh, and I'm gonna, tell, I'm gonna tell you straight uh, off the bat that, you know, the, the episode plates featured here are okay. So, we've seen, um, we've seen episode plates like Cheryl's before with uh, where we, where I actually made a gacha video regarding it and I actually managed to obtain the episode plate in front of you guys. So yeah, so 3610 is basically the main featured stat on all of them. So yeah, if you take note of it, and they all feature uh, focus on the stat charm. You know, so that's pretty interesting. So. That's one of the reasons why I didn't really make any more videos regarding this particular gacha because they are pretty much the same episode play except for Basara. Basara focuses on Soul though. So yeah. So I think only Basara's is Soul because of his personality. I think the rest of them is just all charm. <laughs> so all the ladies get charm except for Milen. Milen gets voice. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so... Other than that, okay, so I think the skills wise, eh, score and repeat for Milane, score and repeat for Mime, score and repeat for Ranka, eh, score and repeat for Basara, and of course Cheryl gets score and repeat as well. So none, none of the episode plates actually come with um, special notes attached to them as well. So, like, like my um, predictions for, or rather not really predictions, my rating for the episode plate for Cheryl's, uh, if you guys watched that video, um, these episode plates are not exactly fantastic, they are still okay, um, slightly lower than top tier, um, still pretty decent episode plates but you can actually get better ones compared to these. The only thing that you have to take note of that is these episode plates I do unlock the VF1S uh, Roy Fokker edition. So it is the only way you can actually get this Valkyrie. And if you guys don't know what the Valkyrie does, well, I already translated the skills for the Valkyrie on my Facebook YouTube page. So links in the description down below. And you know, you can decide for yourself whether you really need to actually try and obtain these episode plates. Uh, by spending 300 singing stones for that gar guaranteed template pool, not a guaranteed template, I mean that template pool 
um, just for this episode plates to unlock the Valkyrie itself. I mean, it is pretty nice to have an additional, you know, SDF Macross Valkyrie around to have for your Valkyrie operations. Um, having, I think that's the fourth plane now from the series. Hmm. Let's dive into the Valkyrie section and just double check. There we go. So one, two, three, four. Oh, we've got more than four. So five Valkyries all together now, including the BF1S Roy Walker edition. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. We've got five Valkyries from SDF Macross, and it is going to help you know people who who is lacking in terms of Valkyries. Especially for new players who just joined the game recently. Welcome to Guitar Macross. <laughs> and yeah, so um, personally myself, I would definitely love to have my waifu's episode plate in my collection. So I am going to spend 300 stones this time round to pull this gacha. So guys, let's do this. Uh, I have obtained Cheryl's episode plate and someone else. But you have to wait. <laughs> for that compound free gacha video to find out who I got uh, which actually helped me unlock the uh, Roy Fokker Valkyrie as you can see that I have in my Valkyrie collection already so here we go oh. okay so a little bit promising might not get that rainbow box but still uh, we do get three, uh, three red boxes hopefully one of them might be tall First one didn't evolve. Let's skip all the Oh! The common one evolved! Holy! Okay, so it's pretty amazing that the common one evolved, but the episode plate that they gave us is a very old plate that is exclusive to Gunman's Bulk, which is pretty okay if you've not unlocked it before. But once you've unlocked this Valkyrie, that plate is pretty much useless. It is the lowest of the lowest tiers in episode plates. So that's kind of a bummer, but still pretty nice. Right here we have the second red box. All right, nothing impressive yet. So kind of a bummer. Ranka didn't give me her episode plate, but eventually in the future, if they ever come around again, there is still a chance that it might happen. After all, we do have a gacha for. Oh! We got a closer shot on Cheryl's face. Nice. So, yeah, like I said, that we do have a current gacha that is gonna expire today that I'm making this video. <laughs> Wait, is it? No. No, 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 no. The one that's expiring today. Yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah it's this one. So, this. It's the gacha we're going to talk about next. Uh, initially, I thought, you know, it was a gacha that's going to be uh, consisting of all the crossover live key art one costumes um, that recently came out, like what we have now for Kanami. But apparently, I'm wrong. It is just a gacha that features the old crossover live episode plates, uh, which is a good thing actually, because. Um, in my last videos that actually featured all these episode plates, I didn't really rank them. But now I can honestly tell you how fantastic these plates are. Um, even though I have broken down all the episode plates before as you can tell. So let's do this once again just to give you an overrun look on why these plates are a must have. So first of all, 3880 total score, definitely one of the highest in terms of uh, episode plates with the plus 25 luck value included. Uh, we're not talking about the Macross plus episode plate yet because we haven't seen a rerun of the episode plate for a very long time. It is Uta Macross' best episode plate. I would love to see what kind of total score it has on it with a plus 25 luck value. So yeah, so these episode plates, however, are just below 
that Macross Plus episode played because they have the best total score and the best skills um, in terms of high score boosting purposes so score and damage that gives you that 100% boost but of course you're gonna take life damage while playing the life as well and it comes with that score note attached to the episode plates it's just that the only thing you have to pay close attention to is that these episode plates are specific to the divas shown in the illustration Alright, so you definitely have to end up getting all of them if you really want to get very good high scores based off the yeah, you know, elemental stats uh, or the elemental types of the episode play itself. So, one, two, three, four. So, four different designs. Uh, I Out of the four, I've gotten two of them. Um, I have the Ranka, Kaname, Milane, and of course, Freya and Minmei. Uh, I have both of them involved already using the rare up star, so I, I did it the hard way. So that's kind of a bummer, but it's okay. So I would definitely be pulling this gacha. You know, if you have singing stones to spare, spend more of it on this gacha while it's still available today. Hopefully you guys watch my videos today <laughs> because uh, this kind of information is really important or maybe you can just hold on to whenever this episode plates return again. I don't know. I, I don't know when the Dana will hold another crossover event. After all, crossover event is like once in five years. I mean in terms of the concert itself. So I don't know how they're going to return all these episode plates in the future. So when when it appears again, please, my gosh, do try and obtain these episode plates. They are definitely one of the top tiering episode plates of its time. Alright, so let's do this guys. Another gacha pool. Oh yeah, I forgot. They also unlocked that um, anniversary... Bauchi. So yeah, another good thing to have get uh, gotten this episode plate. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. So there's likely a high chance that we might get one copy. Oh, we get two! Very nice. Uh, I mean, not the set Ranka, but um, regarding the two rainbow boxes. <laughs> Why are the Divas looking sad? Oh my god. First Ranka, then Freya, and now Makina. Hey, so I do have this fully evolved, so it's gonna add that luck value, which is fantastic as well. I love to have this as a Kira Kira episode play. No, uh, I'll make some Ranka love, or maybe a brand new one out of the five. I mean four. Here we go, the second Rainbow Box. Ooh. It is not a crossover plate, but it is a pretty nice plate. Alright, so I guess we can go ahead and skip the rest. Oh, Reyna's looking concerned. You don't see Reyna's face like this very often, do we? Oh, you actually evolved. Ooh. Oh, Riri evolved too. Hey, so that's pretty nice. We managed to evolve four plates, so that's pretty fantastic. Uh huh. All right. So yeah, Mikumo's plate, pretty nice. All right. So nothing attached to it. Okay. Yeah, it does have that high score ability, so I'm gonna have its full uh, activated powers for 10 seconds, 100% boost. So I guess this is definitely my new um, Love Element Center Position High Score Plate. Uh, pretty fantastic. Always nice to have uh, a higher tiering episode plate taking over a new one. Alright, so we're going to talk about the next one, <laughs> which is going to disappear on the 15th of November. So you got four more days. Now, the thing is, I didn't know that Dana has been releasing 
Uh, maybe it might be the first ever one because they did announce uh, by posting up a post showing that uh, you know they recommend these set of episode plates um, to any full-time across players if they are struggling to gain at least a minimum of 2 million score so this episode plate was promoted along because apparently it is a new design from the previous one as you can tell this is the previous design no this one here is the new design and this one is the previous design episode plate for the current event so wow um dana good job at creating new ways to 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 literally drain our money so <laughs> um so yeah let's take a look at the new episode plate and compare the old one um What's the difference? So let's take a look at the old one first. Um, 3,597, not a very good total score. So probably uh, episode paid of its time. Um, focusing on Soul, yeah, it does have the S rank center skill. Uh, units total and support is boosted by 20% up. Then the active skill, well, it, it just basically helps you from not breaking your combo, so it's definitely not a center position episode plate, although it can be with the S rank center skill. So, all skills are S rank, that's pretty fantastic. So, it does have the score and damage, so it's a very good live skill support episode plate for high score purposes. And it doesn't come with any special notes attached to it. So, let's take a look. At the new one and see what's the difference. So 3534 total score. Mm, it's a meh. So I wouldn't really recommend you to obtain this episode plate unless you're lacking costume points for Cheryl's well uh Kabuki I don't I think it's Kabuki. Yeah. After all it is a song during the Kabuki era. So uh yeah. <laughs> okay, so center skill, S rank, so up, units, so boosted by 90% up, which is of course the main stat for this episode play as well. And basically, what this um, current song requires, it needs the soul stat to give you the best high score. So, with that, you can tell that this episode play is a center position episode play instead, therefore, it comes with the active skill. For 10 seconds, your score is boosted by 100% up. And of course, a horrendous, horrendous life skill that, that comes with it as well. So I'm not going to translate that because it's really terrible. <laughs> Alright, so no episode... I mean, no special note attached to this episode plate. So it's pretty on par with the old one. Just that this one is a center position and the old one is a life skill support. So you can have this brand new episode plate in the center position although there are definitely better ones out there you know so um i don't know Sharon Gnome fans if you guys want to collect them all and become a utama cross master you might want to spend your singing stones on this gacha but for me i'm gonna stay away from it because i've already unlocked Sharon's costume for this design uh, although it will be nice to have that blue butterfly along with the illustration rather than have too much bosom although this one is pretty obvious itself but you know this one is even more uh, illustrious so yeah Cheryl fans it's all up to you I am definitely staying away from this gacha for pulling it but you know all right so let's move on to the main topic for today which is Kanami's crossover a live costume gacha um, very very excited for it uh, I'm not a big Kanami fan but it is definitely a need to pull <laughs> thanks to the crossover missions where you literally need to have Kanami dressed up in her crossover a live costume and performing to clear those missions if you guys don't know what I'm talking about uh, I'm gonna show it to you guys here right now because I am not going to have it uploaded on my Facebook YouTube page because basically the same thing um, so if you guys don't know 
This is the crossover missions. You still got 19 days to clear it. As you can tell, I have not cleared any of them because I have not unlocked any of their costumes at all. With horrible, horrible gacha luck. So <laughs> let's go through from top to bottom. Basically, it's exactly the same thing. You just have to have the uh, divas wearing their crossover costumes. We have already have Freya. Um, with her crossover passion costumes, then of course you have to play the specific songs. So you got Rune Pika, then you got Yoko So Welcome to Valkyrie World, basically. Um, then of course we have Mikumo with her crossover fabulous costume. And then you play Valkyrie Wa Ura Gira Nai. We got Lion. And of course now we have Kaname with her crossover alive costume. And her songs. Zetai Redo Novatic. Then we have uh, Silver Moon Red Moon. Alright, so that's pretty much the missions for now for crossover missions. And of course, um, hopefully, you guys have good luck. Like, hopefully, I will have now. My luck might have just dissipated with the crossover gacha. So, I don't know. Kaname. Please give me something to show. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Oh, wait. Before we do, let's break down the episode play. I'm all over this uh, video this time around. So messy. But you can't, uh, you can't blame me. I'm, I'm pretty excited for all the gacha stuff I have to announce. Uh, so much info into one video. Oh, God. Alright, so 3580. Uh, pretty meh in terms of total score. Um, so far, Mikumo's episode played is the most impressive when it comes to total score. So, Kaname is pretty much on par with Freya right now, but let's see if she has a hidden surprise for us. So, center skill total A and life A. So, it's basically two boosts. Uh, so, we don't have, we don't really expect a high percentage, and of course, you know, 20% up. So I guess Kaname's episode plate is not meant to be used as a center position. So it's more of a life skill support. Here we go. So active skill S rank as well with a 50% recovery. The best recovery stat you can get. Then of course, life skill, score and damage. So there we go. The best uh, life skill, high score boosting effect that you currently have in you come across. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. So, alright, so if you guys don't have a blue element plate that is of this stat level, and of course with this skill, uh, you might definitely want to consider trying to get Kaname's episode plate. Of course, if you're a Kaname fan, what are you waiting for? Just roll that gacha. Alright, so take note of Mikumo, Ranka, and Basara being available for use. Um, I mean, rather you can have them attach this episode plate onto them. So, alright. Ooh! Ooh! Kanami comes with a healing note attached to it. So, this makes her better than Freya, and Freya is now at the bottom of the list. That's kind of sad. Frey Frey, I'm sorry. You've been abused by Dana. <laughs> so, um, Mikumo is currently on top. The top best episode played out of the three crossover costumes so far. Um, so yeah, so let's do this guys. We're gonna try to get her episode played. There's only three brand new episode plates, uh, or rather four, if you're gonna consider those exclusive um, episode plates that only come with costume points. Yeah, they're, they're kind of like four or five depends on the rarity of those special plates attached to the costume points uh, so yeah so let's try and do this uh, hopefully Kaname is kinder than the other two. Oh, we get a day of loading some hope inside here we go one two three 4-5, oh, there's a very good chance that we might get it. Oh, 3 red boxes on the first blink. Wow, 5 red boxes and 1 rainbow. This is probably one of the best pools so far. If 
if any of them actually evolved, that would be miraculous. Okay, so... Ooh! Lots of Minme Hikari love. Ooh. Alright, common stuff. Ooh. Taking a break with a drink. Saluting to the awesomeness that we're getting soon. Uh-huh. Lots of family love. And here we go, the only rainbow box so far. Ah! <laughs> okay, so it is a 5 star plate, but still, oh gosh. I think I've got quite a bit of copies for that. Uh, Reyna approving that previous plate. <laughs> uh, Alright, skipping the comments. Heinz is a bit worried. Uh oh, that's not good. Then May enjoying her cookie. Oh no, Kuvava looks like he wants a bite of it too. And... Oh, Mirage. Uh, okay, so we didn't get Kaname's new plate, but we do get costume points for her episode, I mean her costume. If I'm not wrong, I think... Which... Which, which episode plate is it that's giving the costume? It can't be the Minmei one, right? Because I definitely did not see it in the listing. Yep, yeah, it's definitely not Minmei. So it's gotta be Rei Rei. Hey! So yeah. Okay, so once again, I am far from unlocking any of the crossover costumes. Oh god, why did Dana make it so difficult to clear the crossover missions? I I'm just hoping by the end of the year, next month, maybe Dana might surprise us with uh, Gacha with all of the individual crossover costume episode plates uh, in a reissue Gacha. You know, after all, it is the crossover Matsuri event, and what way to end the Matsuri with a Big Bang gacha? And of course, once again, forcing us to use our Singing Stones and real life money. <laughs> so, hey guys, thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Utah Macross Gacha videos. Hopefully, you guys, uh, you know, appreciate the information once again let me know by hitting the like button onto this video and comment down below what are your thoughts on these gachas uh, are you going to pull them and of course let me know how did you guys fare on your own personal pools and of course share the love and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next two time across gacha video until then bye